She was the first woman in TV history to executive produce two primetime dramas simultaneously. As producer and head writer of Touched by an Angel, she guided the show through nine seasons, drawing weekly audiences of 25 million people. She is here tonight to talk about her new made-for-TV movie for the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel, signed, sealed, delivered, The Vows We've Made, which premieres Sunday, October 17th. Please welcome back to the program Martha Williamson. Martha, thanks for being here. Uh, signed, sealed, delivered, The Vows We've Made is your 12th movie in this series that first began as a weekly series and then Hallmark Channel made it a movie series. Now, Oliver and Shane are finally getting married. This feels a little bit like a finale, is it? You know, it, it's um, it's funny. I was just talking to a friend of mine who follows the show religiously, and she said, is this it? Is it over? Um, and I said, you know, I really am waiting for God to tell me what's next. Um, I think that one of the most powerful things about this show is that over eight years, Raymond, um, we have taken these two uh, very different couples through a long, long journey. And it's not your typical Hallmark show. You know, some people laugh and say, not your mother's Hallmark. Um, but it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it is, we've, we've, we've gone through a lot of difficult challenges. And while they were delivering uh, lost mail, dead letters in the dead letter office, and we've addressed all kinds of uh, significant issues, you know, racism and, and um, sexual assault and, uh, uh, Poverty. Uh, we did a show about Hurricane Katrina, things that you don't really expect right. to see on Hallmark, but you do expect to see them handled the way we handled things on Touched by an Angel, you know, thoughtfully, mm -hmm. but still with um, uh, uh, reverence and, 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 and something that made it possible for a whole family to watch. And so here we mm -hmm. are again um, with uh, Oliver and Shane. And Oliver... One of the biggest challenges, Raymond, of our show was that I didn't I, I didn't want to show the typical people fall in love and then they have an argument and then they go right. away and then there's a big misunderstanding and then they make up and, you know, and then there's a puppy and they kiss on the bridge and then there's a <laughs> rainbow. You know, Oliver had very, very serious issues. And so uh, this, right. this big uh, movie uh, may not be the end, but it certainly is the end of a lot of problems uh, that Oliver had. Yeah, and you delve into those, again, with sensitivity, but look, he's lost his mother, he lost his first wife, uh, and, and, and that's all grappled with in this, in this uh, uh, movie. But for those who don't know the series, uh, Signed, Sealed, and Delivered is about a group of dead-letter office employees who reunite lost mail with intended recipients. Where did the concept of that originate for you, Martha? <laughs> um you know, it's it's interesting. We talk about the idea of, of the lost being found. You know, I would never write anything that I didn't feel literally inspired to write. You know, that the Lord put something into mm -hmm. your spirit to um, to share, and the sense that um, things that are lost can be uh, redeemed. They may seem irreparable, mm -hmm. and it's impossible to return to to what they they were originally intended for or the recipient or you you think you you you're supposed to go this way but your letter or your life is supposed to go that way and um i i think one of the most powerful messages that we have again is trust the timing you know god's timing is perfect and that's the message that we we share every single time and that's what i wanted to share say. So I was trying to find a way to send that message mm. that you will be delivered one way or the other sooner or mm. later. And what better way to do it than with the U.S. postal system? <laughs> right. Well, they can be a little slower than you are, Martha, but I'm not going to get into that. Look, in Maybe a recent a interview... Slower, but they do need our support. <laughs> I agree. In a recent interview, Eric uh, Mavius, who plays Oliver uh, in the movie series, said when he first got the script for the pilot in 2013, he thought it was smart, and he said of you, there's a wonderful way about Martha and her ability to pluck one's heartstrings without being sappy about it. Um, what did you hope audiences come away with this series with when you started it? And, and I think a bit of that answer might be in what you just told us and the voiceover at the top of this episode, which, which reads, 
to a postal worker like me, I believe we are all in some way living letters, unique souls slipped into fragile human envelopes, stamped by our creator and sent into, into the world with a story only we can share, even if we're missing a stamp or two. Are we all living letters? Yes, absolutely. You know, we are all unique uh, creations. Um, we are all children of God, and each one of his children is special and dear, and, and there's nobody else like you, and there's nobody else like me, and um, I'm in a hotel room, and there's nobody else like the uh, lady who's working outside in the hallway. You know, everybody is unique. Everybody has been given a gift, and they are, uh, they, we all have the opportunity to be used. And um, so that's why I love the um, I love the idea of trying to make people laugh about it because it sounds right. you know there's a lot of people who sort of roll their eyes these days and say oh boy here you are talking about God and love and Christianity and 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 the truth is um, that that when you are honest and you can make people smile and you can make people laugh and finally end up with a great truth about yourself to be challenged, to be um, challenged to, to some sort of self-examination, um, then, mm -hmm. then we've accomplished something on our, on our television shows. We have, a, we, we have a message in this particular episode about what it, how it feels to be abandoned. And it doesn't necessarily yeah. mean that you've been abandoned by your parent or by your wife or your partner, but, we've, but, but the many, many people have, have experienced tremendous loss and felt left behind. And um, mm -hmm. there's a message in there for anyone who feels yeah. that, they, that they they wonder what the future can bring. How can um, how can I be reunited with with what really matters? Yeah. Right. Well, you, you know, there's a lot of drama here, and and I mean, I, I intended to just watch bits of the the movie. I ended up watching the whole thing last night. It sort of pulled me in, and then my wife came in and said, Great. "What's happening?" I backed it up. We watched it. Uh, there's a lot of humor here, as you mentioned a minute ago. I want to share one of those moments with the audience. This is Shane reacting to finding out that her mother has arrived in town a little earlier than expected. No, 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 no. It's, it's an extra day. I, you, you, your mother can't be that bad. No, she's not bad. She's just peculiar and opinionated, and she makes me so, 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 so. Oh. All right, perhaps uh, she's not everyone's cup of tea, mm -hmm. but... She's not even a cup. <laughs> she is a kettle of crazy. She is a laboratory beaker full of bad chemistry. She is the holy grail of guilt. And I can only spend two days with her at a time, three tops. And now it's four. Four, Oliver. That gives her enough time to reorganize my spice racks and refold my laundry and my cashmere sweaters to goodwill. In addition to the humor, Martha, you also create characters of deep faith, like Oliver, and he really does search prayerfully for those letters that will change the lives of those when they're finally delivered. Um, and, and as we talked about earlier, he, he finds himself in a messy situation here. Why is faith an important element, not only to that character, but to this work and this series? Oh, uh, well... First of all, we start with a, a character who is is problematic. You know, when I went to Hallmark, I said I want to do I want to talk about faith in a way that that real people are dealing with it. Real people. I don't want to see a little boy who has faith that um, his puppy will come back. You know, I mean that's interesting, but I want to see a man who has faith that his wife will come back. And then is mm -hmm. challenged because his wife doesn't come back and she takes off and goes to Paris. And th those are real things. True, um, you know, believing, praying people have real problems that they don't know how to fix. And that is what I thought was really important with this show, to show that how do you get through 
How do you, you know, God, God takes you through it. And um, that what my favorite moment, one of my favorite moments in that, that show you saw was um, someone looks at Oliver and said, well, who was with you? Who was with you when you were, um, uh, what, when you were left behind, when your wife left you? And, and mm -hmm. you, could, you could see the pain. You saw Eric, Eric maybe is a wonderful, wonderful mm -hmm. actor who, who takes really these good. scripts into his heart. And his face just, you can see all the pain inside. And he said, well, my, my father uh, and I were not speaking at the time and we were estranged. And, and the, the, the woman looks at him and says, well, then you mean you were alone? Who, who helped you mm -hmm. through? And mm -hmm. Eric takes forever forever which is not a big hallmark thing they don't like it when you take forever but we <laughs> needed to see him realize how he had been brought through and finally he looks and he said i had my faith hmm. and for a grown man hmm. to realize that that's what brought him through and that ultimately that's all he needed to make it this far if if one message comes through 13 movies of sign seal delivered and 10 previous episodes when it was a mm -hmm. series that alone was worth it all yeah no no it, it, it's move it's really moving it's entertaining it's a lot of fun and if you followed the progression of these characters uh th th there's some interesting easter eggs here for uh for the, yes. the, those who already <laughs> know the storyline uh but you wrote a book martha and i'm going to leave you with this it was called Inviting God to Your Wedding and yeah. Keeping God in Your Marriage, which really focuses on two people becoming one in Christ. Did yes, that and your experience as a married woman impact your writing of this movie? It had to. Oh, it absolutely did, um, because um, my husband and I were, were married uh, under very difficult conditions. Every single thing went wrong. Everything went wrong. <laughs> At our wedding and yet what mattered was that we got married and then um, uh, ironically um, the same week that we were shooting the pilot of sign seal delivered eight years ago my darling john had a massive stroke and um, he has spent the last eight years um, recovering so bravely so heroically um, so faithfully um, from from all the deficits that he was faced faced with, and never once has he turned to God and said, "Why me?" Never once has he questioned um, that that God has a purpose for him, and he has used his challenges to inspire other people. Um, and what I found is that it was not my idea to name this show "The Vows We Have Made." But when I heard it, it was uh, a Hallmark suggestion. And when I heard it, I went, that's it. Because the vows we have made are what carry us through our relationship with God. We keep those vows. We are one in Christ. And he will get us through, whether it is a stroke and you have lost physically something, or whether it is um, abandonment and you have lost emotionally, uh, romantically, psychologically something, mm -hmm. we will always, if the, the vow that we make to God first and foremost, to allow him to, uh, to, uh, to allow Christ to be, come live in our hearts and to embody all of that we need to be for, to, to be the best we can be for the Lord, um, then he will honor, he will honor that. Hmm. What a great way to end the interview. I wish we had more time, Martha. Next time know, we'll do I it in studio. You get me going. You get me going, Raymond. Okay, we'll do it again <laughs> soon, I promise. Sign Seal delivered The Vows We Have Made premieres Sunday, October 17th at 9 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel. Check your local listings. Be sure to watch. Martha, thank you so much. See you soon. Thank you so much.